Spotlight on Frazee is sponsored by these community-minded businesses and organizations. Frazee Family Foods, what a hometown grocery store should be. Friendly staff, family-owned, and a wide variety of groceries to fulfill your needs. The City of Frazee and Frazee Event Center, featuring a 5,000 square foot room, a built-in stage, and a full-service bar, perfect for a multitude of events. Call or click to book your event. Welcome to Spotlight on Frazee. I'm your host, Hank Ledke, and I'm up here where the Hornets live at the Frazee High School with Nick Cornier, Assistant Principal and Activities Director. Hi, Nick. Hi there, Hank. Hank, thanks for stopping by. You yeah. bet. You know, it's it's a little chilly out this morning. You know, I like I think it's 20 minus 23 when we walked in here plus the wind chill. Yeah. <laughs> it it uh, it does catch your attention when you walk outside uh, and and, and, uh, and I don't think anyone would question that. Uh, you know, and we always we get nervous on these days too when we have these activities and we rely heavy on how comfortable our drivers are and our bus garage and thankful you know Ted Anderson he's he's a top shelf guy for us to work with down at Anderson bus and always gives us good input on when when we can do things and when we shouldn't so we uh, we we rely on him heavily and appreciate how he helps us in these elements cold snow all that so yeah yeah Ted does a great job I mean yeah. he grew up in the business with his grandfather Lee you know and and it's and he's been a tremendous asset to the community on on everything that goes on here. The yep. man's a saint in my book. Yeah, exactly. I always tell people when he he show it's once or twice a month we might see him come through the halls here. He's got to stop in a meeting or so on, and it's always a pleasure to see him because he's always he's always happy. And every time I see him, he does it, he makes me laugh in some way or another. It's just mm -hmm. a given. So that's the up. He's a good man to have in the community. Yeah. So outside of our cold weather, what's happening at FHS? Yeah, you know. We're great as I we're, we're getting right into the meat and potatoes part of our winter season here with our activities, about a third of the way into it, um, you know, and it gets tough. All, all of our entities, our bat boys basketball, girls basketball, then out of their point, they're going to be playing two or three games a week, you know, to fulfill that schedule. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a double header coming up here tomorrow, January seventh against Bagley, and it's and it's our it's our pink night cancer awareness a little, a little fundraiser uh, that's uh, kind of kick-started originally from uh, Mr. Thaddeus Helmers and the family mm -hmm. and then uh, Nicole and Sophie Strand kind of helped lead and organize it so that's a big piece coming up here tomorrow that's uh, uh, and it's got all good pieces to it so that's what we look forward to and uh, Mr. Uh, Brian Zelander he's kind of got our one act play up and running and uh, we, they've got their subsection coming up near the end of the month, so he's hoping he can get a cast here put together. He's got the numbers. He's just trying to get all those. He's trying to get the bolt and the hole and everything, yeah. everything fit and right. So he, he likes what he sees with his cast and what he's going there with. He's just got to make sure it all comes together. And then uh, I did see here we got musicals coming is uh, being advertised a little bit. So they're Mr. Sealander and um, uh, Mrs. Sazma. Mm -hmm. are working on that you know and, and people might be talking about what the title is but it's uh i i, I won't share that but i'll just tell you if you follow a yellow brick road it might take you to the Frazee high school so that's kind of where their direction they're going with at that yellow brick road so people can maybe fill in the blanks with with that comment and so yeah. now that yeah, that's coming up on the 11th well no Jan you know no the no. no tomorrow being january 7th would be our the basketball fundraiser pink night no the mute uh one act plays at the end of this month in January. Musical, they're starting to do their auditions and everything. Okay. They've got they've got a title. Then what they're doing from there is uh, that that's a March sewing because they got some work to do with that. Mm -hmm. But they're narrowing it down and they've they've got a topic to work with. Uh, dance, they've been competing strong. They uh, they've got just a couple events left and then sections time for them. Sections happens right at the beginning of February, so we got one month sections for them and then their season you know will be slowly coming to an end with I you know ultimate goal that they are uh, competing down at the uh, target center um, you know in jazz and high kick is, is their goal uh, they've been competing really well in their jazz performance and they're they're and they're competing very I mean they haven't been number one but they've been slowly climbing that way in their high kick so I know that is an ultimate goal for for those girls this this season and uh, well, yeah, and you know, and they've been consistent over the years, yeah. in the in the top yep. ten or, or you know, or in and five. Yep, exactly. You know, and there there's some reps out at the high school league too that 
have noted that too and they, they they look forward to when they see Frazee show up just because of the performances they've mm-hmm. put on and and how respectful those girls have been down there so that that's a that's a good uh, feather to put in the hat here for our community and those parents and those kids wrestling you know what they they, they keep grinding they're just they, they grind away at everything the guy who's got a tough schedule that's a tradition for them they just keep grinding they have a uh, coach Nagel he's uh, had some unfortunate injuries you know, and it's kind of some have carried over from the fall, from football a little bit into the wrestling scene. So we got some holes in our lineup, but they just keep grinding away. And some, you know, uh, and and unfortunately those those are injuries where these kids may not be able to would be back this season. So that's a tough part for him. But they're grinders. They got the uh, they've got that tough mindset, and uh, they'll do well at, at wherever venue they're at. So and yeah, they 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 got some time yet to to fill in some of those holes, but uh, they're grinding away. We're going to take a break right now, and we're going to be right back with Nick Cornier talking about what's happening at the Hornet Hive. Welcome back to Spotlight on Frazee. We're here with Nick Cornier, assistant principal here at Frazee High School and activities director, talking about Frazee High School athletics and everything else, the band, the play, the theater people, the dance. Yeah. Uh, it's A lot goes on here. And how and and how many kids uh, roughly are here now at high school? Do you have an idea? Up well, when we look at, well, if you break it down, we go half and half. We'd be sitting here at right around 400 in our building because our enrollment is around that 800, 850 uh, uh, K-12. But you know, and the. Uh, uh, Mr. Carger has been sharing literature with us, and we have. We've been we've been seeing a decline in our enrollment, which uh, you know, and that and it's not just us. There's been other schools too experiencing that, and with the pandemic, and um, but that's a tough part for the school because that's a big that's a huge funding piece for our for our district is is student enrollment. So we're looking at you know how how can we maintain for one, two, how can we grow two. Uh, so those are, those are things that we're looking at and, and always always looking for input on how we can get better at that. And you know what, with uh, the project on the forefront with our lease levy project, which has pieces you know within the building indoor air quality and, and a project down to elementary and then our big outdoor project with uh, um, uh, the rebuilding of our track and then our football field and that being repositioned and the baseball field moved and our parking lots. We're hoping that too can be an invitation to families and seeing something unique to our site that we have we have a terrific outdoor facility, and that uh, fa- and that some families you know take a peek at that when they you know when they come to our this community they, they see that you know when they go east and west, they're going to see nice facilities too. But uh, you know and those 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 areas have have uh, built within their buildings is where they've had their upgrades. You know us being external outside, we're hoping too that you know that can uh, spark some interest for some of those families that hey you know their track their football their baseball their softball people that's where they they want to make home at knowing that we have those type of facilities and ffa yeah you know what they uh they're always reloading as we word it at the state level mm-hmm. and <clears throat> miss mitchell and uh, mr shorts rock leading at mr shorts rock is uh uh how would i word it he's i mean he's uh He's an icon for the program. Him and Mr. Hammer, who retired. I mean, they they've been with it for a long time. Uh, so the, his experience, their experience, and then combined with uh, Miss Mitchell, they keep that program rolling, moving forward. And they, they got some competitions coming up again here, the other half of their FFA season, which help uh, to see where those students qualify at the state level. But so far, whether it's been soils or forestry. Um, they, they've they've competed at a high level, and those groups they'll be competing at the state level. Come here, it's right uh, early April or somewhere in that time when they have their state competition. So yeah, not we, it's not it's nothing to any surprise when we have those students always competing at the state level in FFA. Uh, robotics, uh, they're just getting going this coming Saturday, which would be January 8th. Robotics has their. Uh, uh, preview of what the competition is. So Eric Schaefer, who's our advisor, has taken a group of uh, students to Nevis where they kind of have a get together, they look at what the project is, and then they come back here and they get to work. And like you said, they, it's they're through the whole month of January, they use that time to build 
their course, they build their machine, and then they start troubleshooting. And then getting into February, they start with some of their competition. So I know they're eager, looking forward to that. Because poor robotics, they've kind of been on the, they've been on a standstill for almost two years with this pandemic. They've got to dabble in some things, mm -hmm. at some locations, but they have not been able to go to some of these big these big venues and compete. So I know those kids are just biting at the bit to get at some. Well, yeah, you know, and right out of the shoot when they started that program, you know, they. They went right to state, yeah. you know, and and even some national competition, if I remember right. Yep. Nope. They they've uh, I, if I can recall, one of them been prior to even myself being here. They've had at least two national appearances. One they qualified based upon uh, an award they got for being uh, the newbie program mm -hmm. and competing at a high level. The other time I know of is when here they had digit, they qualified for it, and. Uh, and there could have been some other times they had qualified, they just had elected not to attend because they've been competing at that level. And then when they did, were there, that the time they competed down there, they went in, they went into the last round. I know somewhere in that top five as far as yeah. as a team. So they're all they were always doing very well. Well, Nick, it's always a pleasure to have you on the program, talk about what's happening up here, you know. And, and like you say, there's a lot going on, and and a, a lot of future going on. Not only, mm -hmm. you know, with the the. Uh, Lisa yeah. Levy yeah. and yeah. also us looking at the park next door so we'll have camping for those yeah. events eventually here so where we can have the big ball tournaments again and people can come stay here in town yeah. so, that would, that would but be great. thank you for being on the program sir and remember pet the dog, hug the kids, kiss the wife wave at the neighbor next person you wave at could be your next best friend and we'll see you next week on Spotlight on Frazee